Hello everyone, welcome into the Fallout Shelter. Today's news, China's artificial sun is to be operational in 2020. And China's artificial sun is basically just a micro eider. It is a tokamak which will be burning plasma at excessive temperatures. Uh, coming from the Hindustan Times and also from South China Morning Post. And I'll be going over a ton of other things in a quick as I can manner. Of uh, things that go together with the China Artificial Sun, the Eider Tokamak that is being built, CERN's new collider uh, tunnel, and a couple other things. And if you want to get more in depth with them, please join us at D Live for the D Live live streams. I get way more in depth with these things there. Uh, and uh, now, Pub now have a profile on Sensor War SensorWars.com. Check us out there. Uh, getting right into it. Here comes China's artificial sun, a likely source for clean, limitless energy. The HL2M Tokamak, China's next generation, next generation artificial sun, is expected to be operational in 2020 as installation work has gone smooth since the delivery of the coal system in June. Sci Chinese scientists are close to deploying an artificial sun by 2020, state media has reported, adding that the device will be able to provide clean energy through controlled nuclear fusion. The HL2M Tokamak, China's next generation artificial sun, is expected to be operational in 2020 as installation work has gone smoothly since the delivery of the coal system in June, the official news agency Xinhua reported this week. The device works by replicating the natural reaction that occurs in the sun using hydrogen and deuterium gases as fuels. The new apparatus with a more advanced structure and control mode is expected to generate plasmas hotter than 200 million degrees Celsius. That is over 320 million degrees Fahrenheit. I don't think I've got that exactly right, but it's, it's hot, way hotter than the sun said Duan Zuru, head of the Southwestern Institute of Physics under the China National Nuclear Corporation. He was quoted by Jin Hao. The report added that the artificial sun will provide key technical support for China's participation in, ding, 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 the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor Project, as well as self-designing and building of fusion reactors. China is among seven members funding IDER, an international nuclear fusion research and engineering project that is building a tokamak fusion fusion reactor in France, just a few miles down the road from uh, ding 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 IDER, sir, IDER right down the road from CERN uh, in Geneva is considered to be the world's largest magnetic confinement physics experiment. In 2018, the Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak, or the country's first Chinese artificial sun, achieved an electron temperature of over 100 million degrees Celsius, that is 270 million degrees Fahrenheit, in its core plasma. The ultimate goal of East is to create nuclear fusion like the sun using deuterium abound in the sea to provide a steady stream of clean energy. The temperature achieved in the East experiment was about seven times more than the interior of the sun, which is about 15 million degrees Celsius. Gong said the experimental temperature was about 50 million degrees Celsius in 2017. Now, there's also, this is reported from Hindustan Times. Uh, this report from South China Morning Post, China completed artificial sun to start operation in 2020. Basically says all the same things. If you want to hunt it back up, the article originally appeared in Abacus. Uh, it's the same thing over and over. If you look right here at this picture, this is their tokamak. And most people are going, okay, well, they're building that and, and that's new and all that. Well, we've had one going in San Diego for a while. San Diego, November 8, 2019, the U.S. Department of Energy has announced finalization of a cooperative agreement with the General Atomics to operate the D3D National Fusion Facility, the country's largest magnetic fusion research facility with 2019 authorized funding of $121.5 million for General Atomics and collaborating institutions. This is a picture of a tokamak. If you... Uh, go further into I missed I lost it I messed that up well I'll fix this real quick our place in the universe will change dramatically in the next 50 years that is from physics.org 
Down at the bottom, it mentions three new colliders will change the game of the coming decades. Chief among them is the Future Circular Collider, a 100-kilometer tunnel encircling Geneva, which will use the 27-kilometer Large Hadron Collider as a slipway. So now the Large Hadron Collider that has been colliding things together will become the, the speed up zone, if you will, for this larger one that will encircle Geneva completely, will be powered by, and this is, this is the site for the future circular collider, uh, what's, I will put it in the description as well, and it will all be powered by, what is Eider? Eider means the way in Latin, is one of the most ambitious energy projects in the world today. In southern France, 35 nations are collaborating to build the world's largest tokamak, a magnetic fusion device that has been designed to prove the feasibility of fusion as a large-scale and carbon-free source of energy based on the same principle that powers our sun and our stars. The experimental campaign that will be carried out at IDER is crucial to advancing fusion science and preparing the way for the fusion power plants of tomorrow. I strongly suggest you go check out these websites uh, and you look at these things, fusion technologies, the ITER of tomorrow that is being built uh, in Geneva is five stories tall. This one is not five stories tall. This is maybe 12 feet, maybe. Maybe larger than that. But it is not five stories tall. Uh, the one in San oh the one in San Diego, the D three D tokamak, it's about eight feet tall at the inside. So yeah, what could go wrong? We're heating pl oh, and if any of these plasmas, the magnets were to quit working while they have it at this temperature, and it touches any of this, it explodes. Uh, we go into these way more depth than the D live live streams. I'm just trying to brush the topic here with you. I'll leave the links. You can go look all of this stuff up. They're also trying to find the uh, this new X17 or X37, whatever it is, this uh, element. Now, why is all of this important? If you've waited this long, I've waited this long to say anything if you've made it to this part of the video. Why is all of this important? Why are they trying to do all of this? Why do we make it bigger? Is it about energy? Absolutely not. Welcome to the Anderson Institute. This is the link section for the Anderson Institute. I will leave the links in below for this as well. These are the research laboratories for the Anderson Institute. The Anderson Institute, the Center for Advanced Technology, the Center, Central Research Institute of Electric Power Industry, CERN, Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory. Real conspiratorial places, right? Indian Space Research Organization, Institute of Physical and Chemical Research, on and on and on, Naval Research Laboratory. These are research laboratories for the Anderson Institute for Time Travel. Yeah, time travel. Anyway, uh, links will be in the description. I highly suggest you go check this website out. The more power, it's in the ground. We learn to travel time. Maybe we open up a pit. Maybe we open up the gates to hell. Maybe we tear the earth in half. Who knows? You might want to get prepared, especially in your soul. Find Jesus. God bless you all. I love you. I hope you all have a great day. And just keep your eye out. I mean, this, this isn't good. This isn't good at all. Love you all. Thank you.